everybody, it's that Zoo, and this is the fourth part of Mario Kart 64. This will be the final part of this session. No? So, who's going to be our racer this time? We're going to do the Special Cup, but yeah. Hmm. Special Cup does have some pretty tricky tracks. I want to go with Mario because he's the other middleweight, but I don't know. So yeah, let's go with Mario. Mexico. I always thought he said Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. I know he says let's go, or it kind of sounds like he says Pepsi Co. Pepsi Co. <laughs> I mean, it, it never sounds like let's go. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway, yeah, let's pick Mario. Let's pick Mexico. You're in a special cup. Yeah, this has the tricky tracks, including Rainbow Road. I hate Rainbow Road. Oh, Rim. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. I hate Rainbow Road. 64 Rainbow Road is probably the one I tolerate the most. But by and large, I hate Rainbow Road on every Mario Kart. But right, let's go. Special Cup. DK Jungle Parkway. This course was remade for Mario Kart Wii. No differences. Pretty much just a flat, flat remake. You may notice the frame rate's dropping here. The frame rate drop. Yeah, this this one has some pretty choppy frame rate. Again, you can screw people here on this jump here. You can hit somebody. I don't know what to say anymore, but yeah. Don't be careful if you go off to the left too far. You'll end up in the water. And watch out for Steamboat Willie over there. The Steamboat. See that? On max two and three, you're liable to hit the steamboat coming off the jump, off the ramp. You're not able to hit that, but sometimes you'll you'll hit you'll hit it, and it sucks. You're not supposed to be able to hit it. Why they make you hit the boat? <laughs> but yeah. So here it's coming. I might be able to, I might be able to pass it before before it becomes a problem. Lap 3 is probably the one where it's going to be an intrusion. So it looks like for Mario, Peach and Toad are the champion the champion AI. Whoa. Peach and Toad are the champion AI for Mario. Looks to be that way. I know on Mario Kart Wii you can't do that. You can't pull to the left like that. So that's an advantage you can do here. You can do a slight pull to the left and get a small advantage. Like I said, just don't pull to the left too much, or you'll go in the drink. Glub glub. Be sure to catch some air bubbles so you don't drown. Let's play some bananas. This crap is bananas. P A N A N A S. <laughs> Surprised I haven't done that every time I got a banana item as well. But yeah, I just got done watching the entirety of Super Mario Sunshine versus with Josh Jepson and attacking two cans. See, that's that's what I was talking about. That's why that's where the ship can be a problem. So I was just I just beat it to the ramp. You're liable to hit it. I, trust me, I've done it plenty of times. Man, that was a fun series to watch. You know, that was fun to watch. I like those two guys. But I'm not here to gush about other LP peers. But yeah. Sunshine Versus was pretty fun. Hopefully that doesn't scream you over. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 I've got it. But yeah, that was a fun series to watch. I was pulling for Josh the whole time. Even though, I just, I mean, I know I just started watching after it's been over for several months. But I was pulling for Josh the whole time. Even though he was behind a lot, I knew he was going to win. And if you haven't watched it yet, sorry I spoiled it for you. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Anyway, course two. Yoshi's Valley. They may notice that this one has something special going on. Look at your, look at your face up. Look at the panels up there. They're all question marks. You can't see your position, and so, and so you don't know where you're at. But I'll switch the map view. You see, look at the map. There are many paths you can take on this course. 
As far as I know, this is one of the only few Mario Kart tracks there's a lot of paths that lead to one area that lead to the same destination. So that makes me wonder how they're going to remake this track for future Mario Kart. Makes me wonder how they're going to do that. Nope. Oh, if I rather spin out, they get crushed by the egg. Giant Yoshi egg. I'll, I'll, I'll take the lesser of two evils. There's also another trick you can do on this track. If you, if you, go, if you do a hard left and jump and hit the right, the right spot on this canyon wall here, over there, you'll, you'll, you'll be set behind the start finish line and you'll, and you'll be able to cross the line and finish the lap. You know, have to, it's very precise where you have to hit it though. Now I can do it, I can hop over this small gap here, but I'd rather not risk it. So yeah, I pretty much know what all the tricks of this game are, because I played it a lot, and I like it. So, get out of the way, Egg. You're bad, Egg. We don't need no Dr. Eggman here. And I hate myself for calling him Dr. calling Dr. Robotnik that. It's Robotnik. Every time he calls him Dr. Every time he calls Robotnik Dr. Eggman, I lose that much more respect for you. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. It's Robotnik. But it, it doesn't just think about it. Doesn't Robotnik just sound more menacing than Eggman? You know? Robotnik sounds like a guy sounds like a bad guy. No, Robotnik. And it gets and it's in his name too, he builds robots. Robotnik. <laughs> and you just know he's gonna be a bad guy with a name like that. Eggman? What kind of name is that? I get that he's shaped like an egg, but I hate that name so dang much. Don't know why they decided to change it for all the rest of the US releases. They just went with the Japanese name for the, every US release after the Genesis era. Sonic Adventure and Up. <sighs> I still call him Robotnik. Robotnik's the right name. It's always, it's always going to be Robotnik to me. But anyway, yeah. Course 3. Banshee Boardwalk. This course is remained for Mario Kart DS. Again, pretty much by and large the same carbon copy. Nothing, nothing new, nothing changed. By and large the same. You also get you get funny you get funny sound effects on this course of your wheels. Oh, big cheap cheap. As far as I know, you can't hit the cheap cheap, so you don't have to worry about that. Whoa, big Bertha, I think it's called. I almost flew off the track. So follow the arrow. Following the arrow is usually a good idea. You can go left there, but it's very hard to nail that shortcut. To nail that. And it's not so much of a shortcut as it is a more of a convenience. It's very hard to hit that. I wouldn't recommend going for it. Going for it. Myself. Just take the regular way. Just work your way through the bat. Dang it. Peach, get out of here. The toad's sucking. Thought he was the champion AI. I know Peach is being a champion AI. Take that. Ah, I threw I threw Peach I threw Peach off the edge. That was better. See look at that. Look how quickly Peach recovered. And she you knew she was gonna go off the edge. Look at that. Look how quickly she recovered. More proof that the AI cheat. So it's just this 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 playthrough is just as much about me doing well as it is trying to prove that the AI cheats in this game. It does. Just look up any bit. Just look up. Just look up cheating. Look up on TV tropes. Look up other YouTube videos. They'll give you proof and pudding that the, the CPU cheats on this game. It does. But the double dash, they cheat too. Double dash is really hard. So I thought I could get through it by hitting the back. No, this course really makes it really it's really hard to get a time trial ghost on this course. If you hit a bat, it invalidates your ghost. If you pause, fall, spin out, wreck, or or hit the, or hit a bat or hit a wall, it invalidates your ghost time, which is an incentive to race well. But it's good. It's really hard to get a ghost on this track because the bats will screw you over. It's really hard to avoid getting hit by them. You know, along with the walls and stuff, I guess. Really, it's really hard to set ghosts in this game. Be able to save ghosts in this game. You can set times, but it's really hard to get a ghost saved. I found. 
plus ghosts take up way uh, take up a lot of memory on the on these memory cards. <laughs> if you were to have a ghost for every track, you would need a you need a lot of memory. <laughs> I'm just saying. But again, I have a lock for first just for glory now. The Rainbow Frickin' Road. The final track. Sorry, my camera's gonna be wonking out here. Sorry. Now there is a very cheap trick you can do on this track. If you fly off to the left, you can land on that strip of road over there. You know what I mean? And you'll be able to skip a good part of this lap. A good part of the lap. And this basically means you win if you land it. Even if it's just once, it means you win. If you miss it, well, good luck trying to catch up. Because that's going to take up at least seven seconds between the falling and recovering. <laughs> Take that. Take that, mushroom and monkey. Get your wheels off me, you dang, dirty monkey. Yeah. Now, this course is pretty long. More than likely, it's going to be a six-minute track. So, I only still got the credit sequence after this. You, get the, you only get the credit sequence after the end of the special cup. That's the trophy ceremony, but a whole credit sequence. See, as you see, unlike the, any of the other Rainbow Roads and any of the other Mario Karts, this one is entirely walled in. All the other ones have openings at some point, or no walls at all. I'm looking at you, Super Circuit and Super Mario Kart. But this one's the least annoying because there's a le less of a chance of falling off. The only things I don't like is that it's so thick and long and the chain chomp. That's the only thing, those are the only two things I don't like. But other than that, look how pretty it is. You get the, you get the holograms in the sky of the, of the different guys. And the music's just awesome. This is probably my favorite, this is probably my favorite song in the entirety of the Mario Kart series. N64 Rainbow Road. My favorite one. Be careful, you gotta straighten yourself up so you don't fly off the track. Yeah. What? Oh no! Ah, phew! But the chain chomp was gonna get me. Chain chomp. And Peach is beating on my butt. You're just, you're just being, you're supposed to be the one that's getting the butt, not me. Oh, oh, good thing you, we got hit together. <laughs> so I'm still in the lead. Still winning. Winning, winning. It's all about winning. Still in the lead. Yeah, Luigi's sucking. Sorry, Luigi. You can't win by doing absolutely nothing in this game. If somebody can win Mario Kart by doing absolutely nothing, that'll be the day. I can maybe see a balloon battle, but any other type of battle, I don't see anybody doing nothing to win. Well, classic balloon battle, like Super Mario Kart 2 DS. I really don't like the score scoring system of the balloon battle in Wii and 7. I hate that. And I hate it that Wii was teams only in battle. I hate the battle mode in the Wii the most. I just hate that the most. I prefer the I prefer this cl the classic balloon battle, the survival. At least they brought free they brought free for all back in seven, at least. But I prefer the I prefer the survival type than the score type. What the score type is that you get a point for each for each hit you hit you earn. You lose three points whenever you lose all your balloons. But when we you lose three points. Oh, and it's, it's like that in seven as well. You get a point for each hit you, you successfully land, and you lose three points if you lose all your balloons. Which I don't like. Yeah, if you start with three balloons, and you can get more by stealing them through mushrooms, but if you run out, you lose three points and get three more balloons. So there is an incentive to do well, but you can basically lose all your balloons and still be in the game the whole time. And the older ones, if you're out, you're out. You could, you, could, you could help or hinder the other players depending on which game you're playing. But you were out. Like in Mario Kart 64 Balloon Battle, if you were out, you became a bob and in three or four players, you became a bob and you can use that power to cause one hit, one hit of damage to your opponent. That was awesome. In Mario Kart DS, you were, you were a ghost that could lay item boxes for the other players. Personally, I like being the bomb. The bomb's the best. 
it looks like the computers are stuck in. Oh, they're starting to catch up though. So they're gonna come down to the final straightaway. Hopefully they won't super cheat on me. As long as I can avoid the chain chomps, I should be able to win this. Wee! <coughs> See, I'm just gonna come down to the wire. See, look at these two computers compared to the rest of the field. This cannot be. This cannot be fair. Well, if I hit them both, so I should be able to win this. Unless the chain chomp comes out of nowhere. Good. I'm waiting for a chain chomp to come out of nowhere. <laughs> yep, that's a clean sweep. Across these four parts, I got first place in all of them without having to redo any. I didn't even have to re-record. This is just all flat. Single session, unbroken single session. Awesome. I like it when stuff works out like that. So, I'm first, DK, second, Peach, third. So we get the unskippable trophy ceremony again. Yay! Here's the winner now. Don't you feel so special? Hooray! You won! Now let's all celebrate! Oh no. Lyrics! I just thought of those off the top of my head just now. <laughs> probably, probably could have been better. I like to win that. Making up lyrics to songs with no lyrics. I like to win that. So yes, it's going to be an extra long part because we still have the credit sequence to go. I guess I'll show that to you. But I didn't really talk about the game a lot, did I? Bottom line, I really like Super Mario Kart 64. I wish I had other people to play it with because I'm by myself in this nowhere town. Yeah. Hooray, yeah, Mario, you, congr you congratulate it yourself. This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so let's watch a credit sequence. To Mario Kart. This always makes me feel, this always gives me a fuzzy feeling watching this. Luigi's Raceway. The music's pretty cool. And you, get to see, you get to pretty much get a pan fly of all the courses. Moo Moo Farm. Hey, it's Shiggy. Shiggy's a producer. I would have guessed that. Uh, uh, what's this one? Calamari Desert. Fried Squid Desert. Fap Fap Snowland. Crappy Snowland. Yoshi Snowman. Snowman Snowman. Bowser's Castle. With a la laughing swamp. And fire breathing Bowser statues. I want statues like those. Warrior Stadium. Yeah. And the audience. And this is just giving me all sorts of fuzzy feelings right now. Yeah. Sherbert Land. I could go for some Sherbert right now. What if this was what if Sherbert really was actually made out of Sherbert? Yeah. Royal Raceway. Yeah. Choco Mountain. <coughs> as far as I know, this course is actually made out of chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Yoshi's Valley. That dang big egg. <laughs> See, that, that makes me wonder what they're going to do for this track when they remake it. I have no idea. DK Struggle Parkway. Now, have you ever gotten to that middle... You saw that island there. Have you ever gotten to that? How can you get to that? I've never been able to get to it. That'd be hard to do. I would pay money to see, see somebody do that. Mario Circuit. And you can tell it's Mario Circuit because it's Mario's hat up in the audience. Koopa Trooper Beach. The Koopa Trooper Rock. It reminds me of the hole in... It reminds me of the one hole in uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. To Toadstool Tour. Toad's Turnpike. I hate you, Toad, Toad's Turnpike. Especially on extra mode. Banshee Boardwalk. Unnecessary zoom in on the arrow. Yeah. Rainbow Frickin' Road. Yeah. 
You're a superstar. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> Special thanks, blah, blah, blah. Donkey Kong 3D model provided courtesy of Rare UK. Backroom Rare and Nintendo were good. Well, Nintendo still does good stuff, but that's back when Rare was good. But Rare wasn't a slave to Microsoft. Hey, you made good! Uh, you know? Rare was one of the best companies ever back then. Once they got acquired by Microsoft, they started to suck. Banjo Kazooie, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong Country, all classic games. Donkey Kong 64. Oh, there's classics. Jet Force Gemini, can't forget that. Ooh, I think Rare did Perfect Dark. Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, that's for another time, though. You may notice that you, you may notice you can press all the buttons you want, but the, you have to turn off the game now. You have to turn off and reset the game. It's the only thing I don't like. You have to turn off and reset the game now. But you, to, but you may notice that's four parts, like I said in part one. But is it over yet? I do have something planned. I do have a parts five through eight plan. When I'm when I get around to recording that, who knows? Maybe by the time this maybe by the time part four goes up, I'll have it I'll have parts five through eight ready. But for now, I shall see you guys see you guys next time. You guys stay retro.